I'm Mike Edwards, the website is DIY Doctor. Um, today we're going to be talking about fitting a thermal um, storage for, for water. Um, it's a slightly different system than a, a normal hot water storage. In a normal uh, hot water storage, an indirect system, um, the central heating is heated by the water that goes into the hot water tank um, from the boiler. The boiler hits the water, the water goes into the hot water tank and a coil of pipe work within that hot water tank in an indirect system um, is full of central heating water. Um, it's heated by the uh, domestic hot water and flows around the central heating. Um, in a thermal storage unit, um, this little beauty, which is incidentally a 250 litre tank, it's the, the other way around. The central heating water um, is fills the, the storage tank, the thermal store, and the mains water from the domestic um, cold is passed through this cylinder in a coil and is heated so that it goes to the hot water as well. So you have mains pressure hot water. Um, the, the, uh, there are obviously releases pressure release valves um, which you can see at the top if the pressure gets too great then obviously the, uh, the pressure is released. Um, but one of the main features about this is that this particular tank has a couple of outlets which allow you to fit solar um, power to it as well. Um, so you could receive some, some solar energy from the roof. That will also heat the water in here. And um, the, the thing that we're going to be talking about primarily today is the fitting of a wood burning stove with a back boiler to this system. Um, the pipe work is already in place. If you can see down the bottom here, this particular type pipe is the return flow from the wood burning stove. We'll be having a quick look at the wood burning stove downstairs. Um, so this particular tank allows the pressure or the effort to be taken out of the main, uh, in this case, oil fired boiler um, and reduce the work that has to do. Consequently, the bills are reduced. Um, so this particular tank will allow the water to be heated from obviously the mains, um, as I said in this case, oil fired boiler. Also the water can be heated from a solar panel and also from a back boiler. Now all three of those should reduce, the, uh, the, the, the additional two should reduce the work that the main boiler has to do. Um, it's an experiment that we're trying to, to, to see how efficient it is. Um, we're quite sure it's going to work so we'll follow this project through. But this is the introduction to um, what exactly a th thermal storage tank is and can do. Okay, let's go through um, a few of the, the, the water connections that we have here as, as well as the electrical connections. You see over um, opposite me here, this is the central heating receiver. It's kind of a zone control. It senses the temperature um, in the individual areas, sends that information to the boiler and the boiler can work a little bit harder or, or reduce the amount of work it has to do to heat the, heat the water. The water itself for the central heating um, comes into the tank via this cold feed here. So this goes into the thermal store via this pipe, um, whereupon it, it fills that up and it's uh, then heated by the boiler. The boiler flow and return are here. The water comes in um, from the boiler and out again through this pipe. So that's constantly sending hot water through this thermal store. Within the thermal store is a coil which carries domestic cold water and eventually hot water. That is fed from this mains pipe here into the tank, round the coil and then back out again at the very top. So this is the feed for the hot water domestically. The, the temperature of this water can be adjusted by this mixer valve at the top. So if the water coming out of the thermal store for the domestic hot water is too hot, some cold can be added by adjusting this mixer. The whole system runs at about 80 degrees C. One of the projects that we're going to do here is to connect these two pipes 
that you can see one at the bottom here it actually says on there return wood that means it is the return pipe from the wood burning stove downstairs or the back boiler on the wood burning stove and a little bit further up the pipe my hand is rested on is the flow to the wood burning stove okay so the water from this tank um, flows through the back boiler of the wood burning stove which keeps it hot so we have um, another method um, we have the boiler heating the water that goes in the thermal store and the back boiler to the stove two methods of keeping this water hot both reducing the energy required by each other um, so quite an efficient system um, and uh, as I say we, we are going to we're, we're going to go downstairs in a little while and um, and film the installation of the back boiler wood burner stove which is going to be connected to this system so we can see how the whole thing works um, and we will report on that as soon as it's finished so.